Are you facing issues on your WordPress website where things you change in the back end are not reflecting on the front end? You might be changing the home page, you might be adding new posts, you might be uh, changing the blocks around, the widgets around. But for some reason, when you go to the front end of the website, none of those changes are being reflected. If that's the case, you are on the right video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve that problem, also tell you why the problem occurs. So, see my screen here. The most likely cause of this problem happening is because of a caching issue. And there are two types of caches which you need to clear out or I say reset once so that the problem goes away. The first type of cache is a browser cache and the second type of cache is your website cache. I'm going to tell you how to clear both of those in this video. So for the browser cache clearing, you need to be on your website, right? So be on your website. I'm just on WP Beginner because I just want to demonstrate this. So what we need to do, we'll try a few different things to make sure the cache resets. So the first way we'll do this is by using a keyboard combo which can be used to uh, say do a hard reload on a website and for windows it is Control shift and r key on the keyboard so i'll do Control shift and r and you'll see the page actually refreshes it's called a hard reload for mac i'll place the keyboard combination on the screen you can press that same button or combination of buttons and the hard reload will happen now if that doesn't solve the issue then we'll just go one step further and what we'll do is open up the developer tools so in chrome this is how you can do it you go to the menu here you can go into the tools options and the developer tools is actually what I'm seeing here is off the screen. So you might not be able to see it, but the keyboard combination is control shift I on the screen. So if I press control shift and I, the developer tools should open up. And if they don't, you can also press the F12 key on your keyboard on Mac or usually a Windows keyboard. Then on a Windows machine, you see the developer tools open up. Now, don't worry, we don't need to actually do or see any of this. What you see here, none of this is important for us to actually uh, look at. All we need to do is once the developer tools are open, go back to the refresh uh, page section here where you can actually refresh the page. Then instead of clicking with the left mouse key, just click it with the right mouse key. And you'll see the first option, which is the normal refresh. The hard reload we already did, control shift R. The third option is empty cache and hard reload. This is what we are looking at. So once we press this, the cache for this website in your browser will be cleared and the website will be hard reloaded. So this is what you need to try once if you want to see if this problem is solved. Now, if this doesn't also solve the issue, then there's one more, uh, I'd say, menu entry in Chrome where you can actually clear out your cache manually. So press the same co keyboard combination I'm going I'm to share. Uh, control Shift Delete. Once you press Control Shift Delete, you'll see some this kind of a menu automatically open up, which says clear browsing data. Otherwise, if you want to go along, then you can go into Chrome settings and go to privacy and security and go to the same areas and find this. Now, all we need to clear is cookies and some site data and cached images and files. So you can select both of these. And if the problem is recent, you can stick with four weeks. Otherwise, you can also do all time so that it will clear the cache for every single website that's done on the website. Now, I'm going to not go clear it because I'm just demonstrating this. But uh, cached images and files and cookies and the site data, just clear this for any time duration that you think is necessary and this should solve your problem. Now, if, if this isn't uh, or this even doesn't solve your problem, then the pro uh, likely problem is your caching plugin and most likely a reconfigure as a misconfiguration of your caching plugin. So if the caching plugin on your website is misconfigured, then the cache is being not built right and that's causing the issue. So what we need to do is again, go to our website's admin area and using the tools provided either by the plugin themselves or by the website hosting provider, we need to clear the cache. Now, every hosting provider has their own, I say, way of clearing the cache or they have their own set of plugins that they install or a recommended method how they clear the cache. So it's not possible for me to demonstrate all the different hosting providers, but I'll give you a couple of examples of how you can go about clearing the cache for one of or two or three of the hosting providers. For example, if I go to this website, this is my own website. And in this website, whenever I face issues with caching, the plugin that I or my hosting provider has already installed for me for caching is called Breeze. So if I go here, I can see the Breeze menu here. And as soon as I hover over it, I see the option of purge all cache. So I'll just click this button and all the cache will be clear. Now, this menu entry is here as well. Somewhere the Breeze uh, plugin also op offers the same functionality inside but this is a convenient place where I can just clear my cache. So you can also find out which plugin you're installed or which plugin you're using. Most commonly used plugins are uh, W3 uh, Code Cache or W3 Cache, uh, Lightspeed Cache, then there's WP Rocket and some very popular plugins. And just going into those plugins and clearing your cache uh, very well uh, is, I say, likely to solve your issue. Now, if I go to the hosting provider option here, 
Uh, and this is a website created with uh, Bluehost. And for Bluehost, you'll see uh, some other kinds of options here. So for Bluehost, you might see the caching option up here, here where you can go and purge all cache. And the other alternative option is to use the dashboard of uh, your hosting provider. So in case the case of Bluehost, you do get caching controls right inside the admin area of the hosting provider. So I'm inside the Bluehost admin area uh, where I can see the details about my website. So if I go here on the overview, you'll see some details about my website. You'll see you go here, here, here. So in this case, I want to go to just uh, uh, plugins and I think where it was in the speed option. So if I go to the speed option, you see it, it has caching control here. So I can disable and enable the cache and the caching level and I can also clear my cache and I can clear a cache for specific URLs as well. So for example, let's say you're just testing on the homepage for some reason, it's not working for the homepage. You can just enter that URL here and clear the cache just to double check. Otherwise you can clear cache, click this button, all the cache for your website will be cleared. And if you have trouble doing this, then the easiest answer is to just contact your hosting provider and say, hey, I'm trying to clear my cache and they'll just give you directions or they might already have this data available in their documentation on how to clear cash on your website. And most likely, I say most more than 90% of the chances, if uh, this is the only problem you have in a website, then either the browser cache or your website cache or clearing those caches will solve your problem. So hopefully this will solve your problem. And if you still don't have issues, then just leave a detailed comment and we'll try and help out as quickly as possible regarding your issue. If you want to continue WordPress education and want to learn how to build websites and monetize them, then subscribe to the channel, WBeginner. I'm Yuvraj and you're watching Double Beginner. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.